come to order. Any errors or missions last month? Uh, do you want to go there? Yeah, okay. we might as well open up. There. All right. I make the motion they approve this. Whoops, whoops. Whoops. I get an amendment. Oh, okay. The uh, productivity well should be 80 gallons per foot. Like yeah, there's a mistake. There's a uh, clarification oh, on the minutes under page. First page, second page. The under the discussion of the uh, second well at on the on the uh, Maryland River. And uh, what page was that? Uh, Maryland, yeah, page two. Uh, could you ask the police to keep them from damaging the windows? They're pounding on the windows, sir. Thank you. Come on out. Maryland River Second Production Well. Yes, uh, the, 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 near the second line of the Maryland River Production Well, uh, it's listed as a specific capacity of around 80 gallons per minute. Uh, for clarification, it should read 80 gallons per minute per square per foot of drawdown. Per foot of drawdown. That's just a clarification. So the. Uh, Again, the Maryland River Second Production Well, where it says around 80 gallons per minute, should say around 80 gallons per minute per foot of drawdown. Uh, Cindy, Cindy, the police are supposed to handle this. Thank you. I would move the minutes as amended. Move the minutes as amended. I'll second it. Move and second it. All those in favor? Opposed? All right. Article four. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, no, I'm saying there's a lot of people here. Uh, maybe we ought to move Article four to number top of the top of the list, number one. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to move to move. Move and second. All those in favor? Opposed? No further discussion. Uh, you just moved it. Norm, you want to update the uh, board yeah. on that? On the, yes. Uh, uh, since uh, since we issued our press release on June second, uh, and since uh, in, the, in the most recent few days, in particular, in particular on Sunday. Uh, I attended along with some of the board and all of the officers of the district and some of our key staff uh, a three three plus hour informational meeting that was held in the town to discuss issues and questions uh, relating to our, our potential or our uh, contract under consideration with Poland Spring. At that three hour meeting, I got a very clear picture of the issues and questions on some people's minds. Since then, I've also heard from people who support the proposed contract. Clearly, there are differing views on this issue, and we'll have to consider all of them before making a decision that is in the best interest of our districts, customers, our neighbors, and the resources we manage. As a result, I recommend that you consider tabling this issue until our next regular meeting. In addition, I'd recommend, uh, due to uh, personal vacations during this summer season, that we put the meeting off till July 30th, Wednesday, July 30th, the fifth Wednesday of the month, versus the fourth Wednesday of the month, which would have been the normal meeting, would have been July 23rd. At town I, um, I attended that meeting up there for about a three-hour meeting and clearly heard all of the questions and comments. And uh, I recommend that if any customer or area resident has any uh, questions or written uh, statements, in, uh, they can put it in writing and submit it, and we'll uh, do the best we can to address them. 
I'll make that motion to table this. I also, I represent the town of Wells and I've gotten a number of calls pro and con and was asked by many of the people that we look into issues that came up and questions that came up. And I don't have a problem with that. I think we'll feel the questions, look at them, address them. I know that we've done our due diligence here at the, at the Water District uh, and feel comfortable with the proposal, but let us look into the questions that come up and make people feel comfortable as well. So I will make it a motion to table this until July 30th at our next uh, scheduled meeting. And I'll second that motion. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Discussion? Yeah. Any discussion? We've tabled it, moved it to a definite date, and changed the time and location. Uh, you want to open that up here? Well, could maybe do it as a, unless we amend the motion, we could do it as another motion. Yeah. We'll do a separate motion would be the most, the cleanest. So, <clears throat> first and second, and uh, any further discussion was... Any discussion? Tom, can we, we make a request? We have discussion for a motion for the location. There's discussion for a motion on the first uh, to the amendment to amend it. Yeah, to amendment. amend it uh, to hold it in another location, which will accommodate a logic capacity. Okay. For our tr next trustees meeting. For our next trustees meeting. And, so, and, a, and a date to accommodate more. The thirty. A uh, time to accommodate more people. Well, we'll do the best we can. That's our goal. That's our objective. Right. Yeah. That almost out of time. I'll second that amended okay. motion. Okay. So moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Public comment? Public comment allowed? Uh, Not unless they're addressed by the board. The uh, yeah. board must address any anybody other than a... I don't uh, want to see any public uh, comment right now. No. no. Not right now. We'll wait until... We go to a bigger place and clarification about when you're going to receive that public comment that you said you were going to receive. Uh, the clarification, uh, as the president of the board indicated, that if anybody has any additional information or additional comments that weren't specifically addressed at that meeting uh, on uh, Sunday's meeting, uh, they are more than welcome to put them in writing, either addressed to our email address at info at kkw.org or in writing to the district's office at 92 Main Street in Kenny Bonk. Tom, can we please make a request for you for the public? I'm one of your right. community members. Talk I'd to love to have an opportunity to say something mm -hmm. as a decent citizen to make a reasonable request. Can you, Could you hear me? Yes. Yes. Joe, put it in writing it's to us. Democracy. We can't open up. We're not going to open it up for, for another public hearing yet. It's not a, we have tabled action on it, it's not a public hearing. Well, At the next forum, it'll be discussed in that manner and we can Could open. you explain what the nature of the next meeting will be? Because we don't quite understand what, is it a public hearing? Is it a, a meeting where you'll just take written comments? Can people come in and speak? What are the ground rules? People are going to have the opportunity to submit via email, letter form, phone calls, their concerns. The district, the superintendent and staff will look at those concerns, evaluate those concerns of issues, uh, what magnitude and severity of those issues, if there are any, analyze them, make those people feel comfortable with their concerns. We've done our due diligence here at the Water District. But, but you haven't then, allowed a public hearing on this issue. That's quite different. It's not, a, it's not needed to have a public... You advertise, you advertise this as a public meeting in the newspaper. You should not advertise it as a meeting for the public and then have a private closed meeting. It's a public meeting, not a public hearing. In a public meeting, people are invited to attend. Oh, please. When is the public forum going to be conducted? That's, that's the way it works. That's it's a public meeting, not a public hearing. There is a difference. Oh, there's a difference. You have yeah. municipal oh, responsibilities. Me. When you change the policy of the water for the district, for the user groups that are here, they deserve a public forum. Many of us prepared things to say today. Many people have traveled for miles to speak. If we can't speak today, we ought to have another opportunity, a public forum, where we can present our ideas to you. We're trying to do this in a civil, reasonable yes. manner. Don't force us to go no, in some other no, fashion, Tom. I am an elected official for the town of Wells. 
That is my position to make the de best determination for the citizens of the town of Wells. I've gotten mixed reaction from people. That's a decision that I make. What is best for the district and for the community? That is my goal and that is my objective. So I don't feel it's necessary to have a public hearing on this when we can determine the facts that people send in, make them feel comfortable, which I've already done with many of the people that have called. Uh, and that's how it's going to be conducted. Well, I think you're making a big, well, a big mistake. It falls far short of the participation that most people expect from a matter of this importance. Joe, let me just close in saying, I did get a call on your behalf. I instructed you to call the superintendent. Instead of calling the superintendent, you went down and talked to the select